Moi America. Chef John, get a go me. They want me to say things are all like, yay! And like, boo! And like, you know, how do you all want me to come at y'all? Right? Real, right? Like how I am, right? So, um, here's the last of the cookies, which is a good thing because, you know, too many cookies is a bad thing. That's all I've got to say. Me and Cookie Monster, we recognize. I do the little cross thing, and that really comes out with a nice brown, and I'm, I'm doing them at 340 and all that. And then I'm going to do the part, um, work on that uh, chicken a little bit, sesame chicken. But one, I wanted to, uh, like, just talk to you a little bit today. All right, and um, we're going to pop those in. So actually, since when you put less on a tray, you got to go with lower numbers. Um, so I'm connected with like chefs internationally, locally, through the uh, Lane Community Culinary College. And we got this new, uh, I got this post today. It says, Eugene is on the food revolution, you know? Look at that marinade. Look at that uh, penetration already. All right? So this is going to be messy, and we know that. Um, and yeah, man, I've been talking food revolution for a while, you know? And um, what I'll say, in the 16 years that I've been in this town, I came directly from French downtown, high-end um, uh, apprenticeship um, right after I got my certification after graduating from Baltimore International College. And um, I was doing downtown, and I got here. And there were a couple of good places, but in the 16 years, really, things took off in, like, 2005 here. And um, inside of me, I can feel in secret harmony. So, you know what I'm saying is like pretty cool, eh? Um, that, you know, we're starting to be nationally recognized as a place of, you know, cultural uh, diversity. And I'm over here, guys. <laughs> cultural diversity and uh, culinary arts. And um, I, I, I appreciate that because, you know, um, I'm a foodie um, as well as a chef, as well as, you know, I don't blog about this stuff. I just talk to you guys and I write about it. I talk to my other chefs internationally and nationally. So this was a young lady, um, uh, and she's getting her first TV spot. Her, hooray for her. Culinary Eugenius. She wanted to know she wanted to do sauerkraut. Or kimchi. And you guys know which way I went with it, right? Do you see what I'm doing? I'm cutting this on a bias. Alright. And I'm just cleaning it up too. Alright. I like to let you see how I work the knife. Because that's important. If I mean knife skills are like the basis of like cooking, alright? And uh, so anyway, she put this post up, um, and they're talking about us being on the cutting edge. And um, yeah, I know um, a lot of things have happened here in Oregon over this time period. And a lot of entrepreneurs and small businesses have stepped forward and said, hey, look what we can do. And um, being from the big city, man, um, Washington, D.C., if you want a special type of food, you go down to little Italy or little, woo, little Asia. Or, you know what I mean? Or right down in the corner because, you know, we got all these different cultures there. So we're going to put that right back in. Remember what this was? is sesame sugar. All right. I got to find my oyster sauce. Those are kind of big. All right. Yeah, I got to totally clean the board after this. So, um, yeah, man. And the revolution out here is like all these farms, right? And all these small growers and all this international food is meeting in this huge fusion. I mean, that's it, dude, is the fusion of the food that's going on here as well as authentic cuisine. 
and I'm, I'm like proud to be a part of it. And um, just because I'm able to sit here and do my thing in my show in my house, you know. But I think maybe I'm going to start kind of... No, dang, no. I'm going to start giving you guys um, like tours of the farmer's market. And we're going to start going for higher end food. The better I am, let's say the better I am, the better we're going to eat. I'm going to try to get further than just a corner grocery store and get us some special stuff. Now, you got to be careful when they say organic and you go to a fancy store and all that, right? And I had a friend of mine who went to a certain store here and he's like, oh yeah, that place killed us. And I'm like, yeah, never go in there. <laughs> Unless you want something very specific and then they'll have it. And you want it very exotic. Um, or specialized, then they might have it. But otherwise, do not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bash on any stores, right? I'll just tell you the truth. Tell you the truth. Every single store, man. I saw a bunch of managers up in front of um, uh, at the Winco, and they're all walking around. And I can tell. I've been in corporate long enough to know when the higher echelon is walking around. And so one thing, I didn't even have a, a, like a basket because they didn't have baskets in this place here in Springfield. Um, I mean, I mean a, a carry basket, right? I'd already dropped the bottle of Tabasco accidentally. Um, and then I forgot my oatmeal. So they lost all these sales. And I'm like, dudes, you know, and for a long time I've been thinking, it's like, could you imagine if you're in the grocery store and there's a chef in there? If there's somebody around walking around with a white coat on, Telling you how to pick the food, how oh, ideas to just walking around. Imagine if there was a couple of them, right? So this is corporate thought I have in my head. It's like, man, food revolution needs to start in in the place where we get the food. And yeah, that means all. all uh, so this is going to be hard, America. A lot of corporate big guys are going to be like, hold up, he's coming after all of us. And I'm like, yeah, I kind of am, but I'm kind of not. <laughs> I'm just saying, look, there's plenty of money to be made and food to be had for all around. So um, let's make our population healthier. And, um, so, uh, you know, I think some of the small farmers would enjoy getting back to doing something that's a little bit more in the artistry of farming. And that's what they've done here in Eugene. And they've combined that now with... Uh, talent and talent that's been growing and growing in here and talent that's moving in here and that's the even more impressive thing is that um, the influx of international students from 2008 through 2000 and or 2009 it really started 2008 um, especially from Asia and Africa has really changed the whole population of like the possibilities those are cookies <laughs> Um, so, yeah, this sugar cookie recipe, dude, I can make it in seven minutes, and like, yeah, there is a point of too many cookies, all right? It's what? Let's play it again. I like that song. What do you think? It's a kind of magic. So, if we're going to build that sauce, um, I'm remembering more. I'm actually going to look it up. I should do that more. Um. I don't have an Asian cookery. I might have it, but I don't have like, you know, but it's easy to find online, this stuff. Um, and then I use my palate and what I remember. So I'm already on my way there. I'm thinking it needs a little molasses. I'd have to test that concept. You know, with the, like I did with the lemon lime that one time, I took a little sauce and put some in there and tasted it and said, ugh. And and then tried it with lemon and was like, yeah. So anyway, so we're gonna, that was the sesame chicken. Um, um, I think what we're gonna do is bread it, put a little bit of sesame seeds and a breading on it, and saute it. And then we're gonna have beef stock on the side, and a little bit of maybe oyster sauce or something sweet, and um, just make a little light sauce right there, right after we sauteed it in the hot heat, and it's actually browned a little bit on the outside of the flour and the um so that's why i've made it that size and then we're going to create a mild sauce because the original recipe was without broccoli um i think it might have had no it didn't have onions but we might throw onions in um 
Uh, so, you know, food revolution means like planting a garden, dude. All right. So I've been going to a friend's house. Jeez, me criminy. He in secret harmony. Lions got a raise now. Look, I'm just doing my part. Oh, chef, cookies. You see me? You see me try to walk away? The dose of time. That's how I like it, man. Can you see that? Just a nice kind of caramelization. I like a cookie that goes crunch, you know? They start selling us soft cookies a long time ago. I'm like, what? Everybody want a soft cookie? I want a cookie got crunch again. Or crunchy stuff in it, you know what I mean? Ooh. I washed this well, right? Yes. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, man. Hooray for Eugene. Hooray for this food revolution. Hooray for my brothers who are, we all gather together, you know? Talking about putting a book together. That's a good idea. But yeah, man, I, I, I've been trying to do some harder stuff and like make it, like try to get my top to my bottom by actually, I was pickaxing, right? And um, yeah, I found something while I was pickaxing. Right as I said two words. Really, it was pretty cool. I went, and went, clink! And I pulled it out. And it was this like perfect little green marble sitting there, so sweet. Yeah, like magic. Mm -hmm. Cookie Monster, man. This is the last two cookies. You better come hook it up. All right, America. Chef John to get a gourmet. Peace. Lions rise. Better community. Better neighborhood. Better family. Better home. All grown made done, just for fun. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>